What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing another custom LEGO minifigure showcase video, and for this video I've got a Hunter from Bungie's new franchise, Destiny, and uh, let me just say right off the bat that this sculpt was not by me, this was fully sculpted by Andrew from Brick Affliction, so uh, if you want to check out his store, link will be in the description down below. Basically all I did here was the paint work, so I uh, just want to put that right out just because I don't like taking credits for other people's amazingness, so um, yeah. I, to be honest, I don't know a ton about Destiny right at the moment. I do have the game pre-ordered. I have to go pick up my copy still. I'm really looking forward to it. I know a lot of you guys are already playing it right now, but um, I just, I, I love everything that Bungie did with the Halo franchise before they left, you know, after Halo Reach. I, I just want to be there to kind of pay my respects to them and support whatever it is they're doing next. And uh, Destiny looks amazing, so I can't wait to play it. And uh, yeah, so Destiny... Hunter figure, let's get into it. Alright, so here we go with the Hunter, and uh, I do want to mention right off the bat that this minifigure was based off the generalized uh, marketing version of the Hunter that Bungie has been using to market the, uh, you know, just like the general idea of the Hunters. Um, so it's like, it, this has basically got like your dark tan, your olive green highlights in different areas. Now, uh, I can't recall them recently using this sort of color scheme for the Hunters. It was more so last year, but I still really like the look of it, so that's what I went for. Uh, you saw this Hunter on various posters and like the Law of the Jungles trailer so you know things like that is where I got this idea from and uh, it looks awesome represented in minifigure form here I did have a pretty big help from uh, Giovanni from Flickr he uh, recommended the use of shades which was a big help when painting a uh, brick affliction armor set so I use that here and it looks awesome it makes it look more realistic so uh, yeah now one thing else I do want to mention is that uh, this guy is wielding a brick arms uh, light beware fusion rifle now I don't know the exact name that will calls uh, this weapon here but uh, in the game it's called a light beware fusion rifle Rifle, so that's what I guess I'll refer to it as here and uh, so yeah this this gun here was basically painted in my own color scheme there I didn't actually see uh, this weapon in this color scheme anywhere uh, in reference pictures I was using so this is basically my own idea of what it should look like on my minifigure and it really flows perfectly with the rest because it, it, it is it is obviously in the same color scheme being olive green and I shook the base there but yeah you'll notice he does have like this uh, this white emblem on uh, these on both sides of it actually and that really adds a lot to the weapon and uh, not to mention uh, the blue highlight they do a lot for it as well and the white was just an added thing even though there probably shouldn't be white on the tip there it just looks really awesome so I wanted to go with them there is a little bit of uh, battle damage on uh, the dark gray areas of the uh, of the fusion rifle here so yeah and then uh, if we go ahead and look at the torso here the torso has various different little uh, details a couple of which I added on the both sides of, of the bottom area here and uh, you can see all the kinds of different little bolts and uh, you know, like these little buckles here as well all painted and uh, but obviously they were initially sculpted so basically I just went over everything that was already sculpted and that's basically what I did for the entirety of this minifigure and uh, more olive green highlights within the center there some blue dots right up right up on that uh, chest piece there that he has uh, some tubing here that I highlighted in gray and light blue and then uh, some a little bit of another little tube here uh, which I painted in silver so a lot of really awesome details that Andrew was able to sculpt in that I basically just went over uh, with paint and uh, then you can see this arm does actually have an ammo pouch strapped on which is pretty awesome as well and I've got the shoulder pad painted in an olive green along with the wrist, uh, I guess you'd call it a wristband, uh, even though it's not, it's more of like wrist armor. So I got that painted in olive green as well. And then uh, the same can be said for this side, even though this side obviously not having the uh, ammo pouch, you've got another shoulder pad and another uh, piece of wrist armor painted in olive green as well with some silver uh, dots that I added just for some additional detail because it looks a lot better that way. Uh, and I just said, you know, little things like that add a lot to this minifigure. And then you'll notice that he does have the uh, visor painted in a orangey gold color uh, as accurate to his appearance in the game and uh, then he also has got <laughs> can't speak and then he also has the um blue dots right there painted on i guess you could you would consider that his hud i don't really know but he has it in the game and most hunters do so you got those two little things painted on there in blue and then all the breathers right underneath his visor all painted in silver and gun metals so uh that looks really awesome and turned out pretty great as well and i do want to mention that the entirety of this minifigure was painted in black before i actually went started going over it because it's always great when you're painting something this detailed to have a uh, base color so uh, that's what I did and that's why it, we did everything in here is all was already black before I started a actually adding the majority of the detail I shook the base again damn it but um yeah so then the belt is painted on as well there isn't a ton going on with the belt but uh, I pretty much added what I could find uh, in the reference pictures and it looks really awesome and flows nicely with the minifigure and uh, then the legs actually use the exact same shade that I was talking about earlier that was recommended to me by Giovanni and uh, they look really awesome as well you can see with various different little details added especially on the left here with the uh, 
I forget what you would call those, those little lines that you find on pants. Um, but yeah, and you also have the, uh, the strap right here uh, going from uh, this side of the leg and then all the way to the back. And uh, then you have a couple of little uh, gray arches on, uh, the, on his boots. And by the way, his boots are fully painted on as well in black with some buckles on the back of those. And uh, then another thing I do want to mention that on the cloak, the hood and the cape in particular do have an olive tint on top of the dark tan that you already see. Uh, just once again, make us feel more consistent and have that olive really stand out throughout this minifigure so that it isn't just bland in any area. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it though for my Hunter from Destiny. That's pretty much all everything I wanted to talk about and uh, it turned out to be really awesome and um, so that's it man and uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this showcase video. Pay attention son. Gus! Gus is that you? Gus! All right, guys, and there you have it, the showcase video on my custom Lego Hunter from Destiny, sculpted by Brick Affliction and painted by me once again because, uh, just want to make that clear, even though I've already mentioned it many times throughout the showcase video. But, um, yeah, guys, so if you enjoyed the showcase video, if you maybe found yourself inspired to make your own Guardians, then be sure to let me know by dropping this video a like below and or your opinion in the comments, as both of which definitely mean a lot and definitely go a long way, because it's not as easy to paint these as you might think, because these are some of the most detailed sculpts I have ever painted. So, uh, they're, they're still amazing, though, and uh, they make for some amazing outcomes, as you've already seen in this video. So, uh, yeah, you can also follow me on the Twitter and the book face, because there post all kinds of behind the scenes photos and updates and previews of minifigures like these so uh, I definitely recommend that because obviously it's a lot easier to post a photo on Twitter or Facebook than it is to constantly edit and upload videos so that's why you usually see content flow more frequently on there so um yeah but uh, that's about it for the showcase video guys I'm gonna go pick up my copy of Destiny and get playing that because uh, it looks amazing and uh, I feel kind of left out at the moment so I'm gonna go do that and uh, I will catch See you guys later. All right. Bye. I've got a hunter from the new franchise that Bungie is putting out, Destiny. I don't, I don't like the way that sounds. All right, guys, whoa, that shot got really cold looking. We must go. The brutes have our scent. If you enjoyed the Jokies video, found yourself inspired to find blah, 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 then I uh, recommend you don't. Why are you watching these bloopers? All right, so here we go with the Hunter. Inspired to even make some own. Why can't I do this, man?